Hey what is up guys and welcome back to another review on the channel. Today we'll be taking a closer look at the 2020 V Thailand variation of Tubbs or Tubbs Pacer for short because I don't know why they completely forgot to add the Pacer name even though they didn't lose the copyright. They're still releasing Pacers as we can clearly see here. I have absolutely no idea why they decided to call him Tubbs. I mean his real name is Tubbs but you know Adding the pacer on the end would have made way much more sense. So yeah, he was first released in 2023 singles case K, I believe. One of the rarest cases of the year. One of the new Thailand variations of the year for the, you know, lemons. One of the few rarest ones, along with like Vladimir Trunkov. So yeah, here he is. We can see his artwork, which looks absolutely cool. We've got the Disney Pixar Cars logo in the top right hand corner. We've got the die cast here, down at the bottom. We also have the Metal and Mattel logos. Not suitable for children under the age of three, even though it should be older than that, because you know this is a collectible. This is international packaging, as we can see here. It just shows the artwork, the original Chinese artwork, which is what I love. They did get the movie correct, so props to Mattel for that. We can see there's some recycling information and some other information, which actually isn't even, you know, interesting whatsoever. So yeah, I already have this guy out of the packaging. This is actually my second one in the packaging now. So I'll be right back with him all out of the box uh, in a few seconds. So here is Tubbs Pacer all out of the packaging. This is his Thailand variation, which looks absolutely cool. And I will be comparing him to his Chinese version from like the days of 2013, 2014 in just a few seconds here. Here's where he appeared in Cars 2 during the Lemon Chase scene and some other scenes as well. If I do add an image more than once, then that is a first. So yeah, pretty nice scene. I love the, you know, the paces in the movie. We can see he's got a determined expression. It does read Pacer on top of the hood there. We got the, you know, eyeliner, the plastic eyepiece. So it does make him a segmented body, a segmented die cast. Nice expression. There is this side. We got, of course, the you know the teal, like the beige brown, and then the brown pacer on the side. Nice star rims, door, all of that stuff. On the back, the license plate reads seven hundred five BN AMC pacer. Some very nice stuff indeed. Rear lights and the rear bumper. Here is the other side for people that are interested. It will be the same. Double check. Actually, no, it's not the same because if you notice, he doesn't have that silver bit there compared to he does down here. So it's always nice to check the other side of the diecast just to see if there actually is any differences. We can see the base Disney Pixar made in Thailand 2022, even though it's a 2023 release. And there is the code made in the can't exactly read 20th week in the A factory. So the same as Holland Hames and Claire Gunza that I reviewed a few days ago on the channel. So that is the Thailand variant. Now onto the Chinese version to compare the differences. So yep, yeah, we can see he still has the pacer, the headlights, the same expression. He doesn't have that black outlining around the eyes there as we can see above the like the eye colour and the you know, eyelids. That's the major difference. Of course the eyes are part of the die cast, so I believe this is a unibody. Oh, very, very nice indeed. Acer has a unibody as well, actually, but it is actually kind of rare. We can see the sides. The beige is a little bit different colours. Whereas the black bit here on the, you know, Chinese version is a lot higher. So that's a difference. The rims are different as well. You can see. On the back, we can see the colour of the window is completely different. The licence plate has been enlarged, which I guess makes it a lot clearer to read, surprisingly, from Thailand. AMC Pacer is still there. The rear lights. The bumper at the back is a different colour. That is nice. And he also still has that silver bit on the side there. Same with the doors. And here is the base. And there is pretty much the exact same stuff. Can't see anything different on the base, like different base platings. The doors you can still see above there. 
exhaust pipe is down here at the back. So yeah, not too much to talk about the base, although this one was made in 2014. Some are very nice stuff indeed. Here is Fred Pasalski. I didn't actually bring out Acer. I thought this was Acer, but then I realised, ah, oh, this one's a darker colour. One of the rarest lemons out there. Tub Pace of a Paint Spray does actually have a Disney Store release as well, which is a nice release from the Disney Store. I love how the paint goes over his eyes. One of my first die casts from like 2013, I believe it was. We also have Pity Pace of a Torch, which is another nice rare release of a pacer. And we have Jerome Ramped, probably the rarest pacer out there. Goes for like 50 quid nowadays, it's pretty expensive, especially in the packaging. Sham, I don't have one in the packaging, I wish I got a second one now. But yeah, that does end today's review on Tubbs Pacer, or Tubbs, however you like to see his name as. What version do you prefer the most? Is it the Thailand version or is it the Chinese version? That is for you to decide in the comments below. Thank you all. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. So the next video, which will be tomorrow, like normal. Peace, everybody.